What is up, everyone? <clears throat> Happy Tuesday, September 26th, 2023. Not much of September left. Ah, it's good to be back after uh, I was gone for over a week. Looks like the market's uh, bleeding a little bit this morning. It's been a rough uh, past few weeks, really. So when I was gone and I was in New Mexico, I was, I was in a spot where I didn't have much cell service, no service at all. So didn't really keep up with the markets too much. But uh, it's good to be back in civilization. Sometimes it's good to go off the grid, which I did. But uh, I'm glad to be back, glad to be back in civilization, back in my routine. Everybody's had a, had a good week of trading last week. Really not much going on. Markets have been bleeding a little bit and. There really just isn't any news coming out right now that's um, giving the markets uh, any reason to to go up. Really, I mean, we're still got inflation going on. Still got uh, the Fed. It's going to be raising interest rates still, so investors still pretty worried. There's just not much. Good news going on right now. VIX all the way back up to 17.69. Dow down about uh, half a percent and the NASDAQ down three quarters of a percent. S&P also down about yeah, a little under three quarters of a percent. So we'll see if we can get in into any downside runners today. Last time there was just, everything started out in the red like this. It, it took advantage of some downward movement. Bell has rung. Morning, Bumblebee. It looks pretty bloody on my board. DKNG. Is up over four percent, almost five percent. So, I'm not sure what's going on with DKNG. <clears throat>
VIX up a little under 5%. Kind of an odd time to have earnings, but Costco has earnings after the bell today. Be trading the Mighty 90 volume runner and continuation runner strategies. And we used the three days to expiration option chain today, three DTE. Baidu just went green. Other than that, most things down about uh, anywhere from a quarter of a percent to about 1% for the most part. Get our second volume bar here shortly. Tesla trying to pop up, give us a green bar here. Same with Roku. Yeah, Roku back down under 70 bucks. So getting a little bit of a mix here, getting some green bars and red bars. See if we can find some high volume here. The second bar, hopefully, and we'll be looking for <clears throat> volume being bigger than the first. Baba pushing up. Again, using the three days to expiration option chain. Uh, 
not much volume here in my first page. VIX coming down a little bit since it opened. Roku has gone green. Baidu green. Walmart target green. Roku getting stronger. Roblox going to potentially have a upside volume runner. Let's see what Roblox option chain is like. Let's do a wolf to go in the money a little bit. So Roblox definitely going to get there. We're pushing up right now, though. Look for a little pullback. And I would trade the 25.5 calls in Roblox. Yeah, I'll just put it in right now for a dollar. Let's see if it comes down. Bob is not going to get there. I don't think anything else. Keton, if you want a small stock, man, it's down to four bucks. Wow. Crazy. Nothing else really working here yet. <clears throat> now Roblox really pushed up. Much of a pullback in Roblox. So we'll just keep keep looking and keep being patient. Maybe we'll get a mighty ninety here.
I'm going to go ahead and cancel my Roblox. Just really never gave an entry. Baba pushing through highs. Baba really pushing. Square pushing. Square could potentially have a mighty 90. I'm going to keep my eye on that. Where? Ah, it's coming back down now. I need it to push up. Get right up, up there at yesterday's high. It's got a minute and a half left, too, man. It could push. It could turn into an upside volume runner, depending on how fast this volume bar grows. No other potential mighty 90s. Yeah, so if Square was up here at the top of this point up here, I would be getting short, but it, it, it reversed and has come down. So Baba getting close to an upside volume runner, believe it or not. I definitely say Baba got there. Baba, I would trade the 86 calls. Try to jump in here. So there's a buck 87 from Baba. On the 86 calls. Upside volume runner. Yeah, definite, definite mighty 90 and square in that, with that volume, but you just don't want to jump in right there where price is. You know, it's at the end of that. Definitely get a better fill than I got in Baba. Right, blockchain had a big volume bar. It's 
So Bob of my out would be right here. It's kind of right, right at my out there. You know, I was thinking about adding the Baba because it's like right on that line there. I think I'm going to add to it. So those are the buck 70 to add to Baba. And then I would close half at buck eighty seven, my original entry. Not seeing any other good possibilities here. QCOM had a little mighty 90 short. The range is really tight. Roadblocks holding up and getting another big volume bar. I didn't, I didn't really see it come down here. That might, might not have been too bad of an entry, but you can't really get a grasp on this market quite yet. A little bit of a push up. Now we're getting a little bit of pullback. Bob, I don't want it to come down any further than here. Bozo and Baba. Those are the buck sixty-three. So took a chance on that ad and it did not work out. Really haven't gotten any good short signals. I mean, this, this square, Mighty 90, but man, you would have had to be really quick to get in, in up here. Yeah, it's just not, not getting any good signals here. KNG really coming back down.
think I might get short Baba, just a little downside continuation. It failed volume runner. Now just play it down to the downside. I don't do this very often, but 87 puts. Go to the buck fifty three. So it failed my volume runner was a failed volume runner. And so I've kind of been watching these a little bit lately with failed volume runners. A lot of times they continue to go against once they once they fail, they continue to go that direction a lot. So a weak market as well. Just not not any good signals here. Fix up uh, five and a quarter percent. And some very, very muted price movement here. And look at the Roblox did pull back and it's popping back up. Still very tight range, though. Microsoft get a little mighty 90 long. Apple getting a Downside volume runner. Apple, I would trade the... 175 puts, built at 275, jumped in quick there. Gonna get a flush here. Or are we gonna get a bounce? I would close half my Baba at a buck So, yeah, so if you're wondering why I'm in Baba here, um, it was a failed volume runner that I was in. And I've kind of been watching those. A lot of times, they once they fail, they tend to continue in that direction. 
So I jumped in short. But it's pretty muted price movement. I'm going to order in at 305 to close half my apple. This muted price movement here. Wow, but just kind of holding on there. It's not moving very far. That's why I haven't gotten filled. Looks like Apple's going to get another big bar potentially. Yeah, hey, look at Roku, just three green bars and then three red flushes. Not very good signals today so far. I need a flush out of Baba. <clears throat> Yeah, bottle pops all the way back up. Amazon staying weak. And Roblox through highs of day. Another tough day to trade. It's shaping up to be. And look at Baba pop all the way back up. Hmm. I was almost ready to get short Amazon because it was struggling and it was coming up against this pivot and I didn't, I didn't get in short. It stinks.
Now oh, the Amazon's coming down through lows of day. I was just looking at price action basically for Amazon. It was struggling. But no real good short signals. Airbnb is getting a massive volume bar now. But it's on the verge of flipping red. Man, just a, just a tough day with this price movement. I was kind of out about where I entered. I really wanted it. I almost got filled in half down there. I wish I would have. We get short Microsoft here. Tech really weak. The 315 puts. Build at 450. Not the best fill, but I've been watching it. It and Amazon have stayed pretty weak. So basically just playing price action there on Microsoft. I like the Amazon a little better coming up to this pivot, but. Just think it in time, Amazon. Yeah, Amazon would have been the one to get in there. I'm going to order it. Five bucks to close half my Microsoft. Yeah, I was getting so close and so close to Apple getting filled. Baba. That's why I usually don't do that too much because I, I don't like getting whipsawed in both directions like I'm getting right now. Baba. So I'm going to close it. Build it a buck 43. So that didn't work. It'll probably come down now, now that I just got out of it. <clears throat> but it pushed higher than I wanted it to. So sometimes you remind yourself why you don't do things very often, you know, very much. And that's why I don't trade both two directions back to back like I just did very often. Because I got beat on both of them. And now Apple popping up. So I haven't really had any good longs. I've tried to get short with the market. 
and it's been it's been a rough morning. Yeah, see Baba coming all the way back down. I could have could have got out of Baba about what I got in for. Yeah, not sure what to think here. Apple is about a nickel away from getting filled. Now it's popped back up. Man, I'm just not seeing any good long setups. Or even price movement for that matter. One of those tough days. So Apple now popping clear back up. Let's see where it's at. Yeah, it's a little it's close to where I entered. I don't really want it to go much up above that. See you later, Bumblebee. I have to get a half my Microsoft here. Was on would have been a good one. Build at four ninety five to get out of half my Microsoft. So I just adjusted it by a nickel there. <clears throat> I was like a nickel away from getting out of half my apple, and I started to have PTSD about not getting out of half by a nickel. <laughs> so I just adjusted it. Oog staying weak. And just a tough, tough off day of. Man, look at NVIDIA just fire up through highs of day. Man. But the VIX is up now. Six and two third percent.
NVIDIA almost had Mighty 90 short. I guess it kind of did when you look at toss. It's a pretty good looking Mighty 90, actually. It didn't have the volume pop, but. Let me go ahead and play this like Mighty 90 and NVIDIA short. 420 puts. A little at 650. So just jumped in there, hoping it can stay below the pivot. I would just get out of half of my NVIDIA at 715. And Amazon, been a real good one, man. Hey, filled at 305 in Apple. So the pers the patience paid off. Thank you, Apple. That of another Microsoft here. Uh, let's see. At 540. Build at 540. Close a quarter of Microsoft. Just need NVIDIA to roll over. Get out of another Apple at 3.30. Build at three thirty. So Apple coming down to this pivot, man. I don't like to see it push through that pivot for sure. I don't want to see it bounce off of it.
that square really fell apart. So I'd love to see Apple push through this pivot there. Build a 715 in NVIDIA. Close half. Come on, Apple, you can do it. Get below that pivot. So NVIDIA giving us one red bar here. Look at Baba. Came all the way back down. If I just would have held on to it a little bit longer. Unbelievable. Well, I mean, it just goes to show you, you know, playing that downside failed volume runner would have worked. Would have worked. No bouncy bounce, no bounce. I feel like Microsoft's due to bounce. I mean, it's just been on pretty much a straight flush the entire time since the market's been open. Got two Microsofts left, four Apples, and two NVIDIAs. Baba, jeez, really missed out on that one, man. Unbelievable. I think the reason I don't trade a stock when it does something like this, like it's a failed volume runner, and then, you know, I got a, a turnaround. I went with the way it was failing. Is like you become emotional to it because you know – your first trade of it, it was was uh, going to be in the red, and uh, so you become a little more emotional if, if you're. Like I got it appeared to me here this was really going to push up, and I was okay. Now I've been hit from both directions, and so if that doesn't, it's probably why I don't do that a lot. It doesn't really, it's, it's tough emotionally, even though I mean. My initial hunch was that this would have worked if I would have given it about one more minute. Wow. 
So Apple coming back up. I don't like that. I wanted to get through that pivot. NVIDIA also popping back up. Not really what I wanted it to do. Let's see if it can maintain any type of upward trend. It's not. Man, Roblox. As an upside volume runner, that did work. VIX up eight over eight percent, up to eighteen point two nine. Wow. Microsoft still struggling. So we're getting a little bit of a push up here. I'm going to go ahead and let this bar finish and see what happens. I don't want these to push up anymore, especially in video. Apple too, kind of watching it close. Might be seeing a little bit of a bouncy bounce here now. Yeah, Microsoft came down to yesterday's low and then bounced. At least that's what it's showing on toss. So don't think I'm going to get in anything else. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to hold. If these roll back over, I'll scale out. If they go up any higher than like where they are now, and NVIDIA right here, I'll probably just cut them. So it's been a tough day today. Although I'm scratching some, hopefully can scratch some green trades out here <clears throat> to uh, overcome my mishap in BABA. So I will post my fills in the day trades channel. So that's what I will 
that's what I'm going to plan on doing. So if you still have any of these open positions, I'm I'm going to let them come down if they come down. Otherwise, if they go any higher, I'm just going to cut them. So like NVIDIA, I don't want to see it get much above right there. So uh, I will be back on Thursday. You get Steve tomorrow. So everybody have a great rest of your day. Peace.